Well, good afternoon. What a beautiful day it is here in Kansas City, Missouri. I've been busy today with chopping and other errands that uh, need to be taken care of and just now kind of getting settled down to spend my time with you. And I always look forward to getting my little devotional together here, kind of gathering my thoughts and sharing my heart and my mind with you. And yesterday we talked about the verse from Isaiah that mentioned drawing water from the well of salvation and the joy that we find in the sensuality of water. We need water for the uncleanness of sin and we need water for the satisfaction of the soul. And so water is essential to life and it's essential to our spiritual life. I want to just further talk about uh, how that well never runs dry. Now... There are wells of water in this world that sometimes will run dry. But uh, the wells of salvation, there's a plentiful supply, and uh, there will always be all the water that anyone needs to take care of the cleansing of the soul and to quench the thirsting of the soul. So I'm thankful that we can rely upon the well of salvation today, that uh, it'll always be there for us as long as time exists as we know it here in this world. And any time that we need water, we'll find an ample supply. Not always been that way. My mind went back to during the early days of our ministry, back when we were pastoring a, up in a little farming community in Missouri called Bynumville, kind of a little wide spot in the road. And uh, we were there two years in ministry in the little country church there. And as far as I can remember, we enjoyed the time that we spent there at Bynumville good people in that community, and we just uh, have fond memories of those two years. But there was one disadvantage, and that was our source of water. Years before, some of the men of the church had gone out and dug a pit at the corner of the house, and with the guttering and a downspout and a charcoal filter at the end of the downspout, when it rained, well, we had water in the cistern. And there were times that we would be, uh, perhaps Carol would be in the kitchen preparing a meal, and we'd hear the pump on the little back porch kick on, meaning that uh, it was about to bring some water from the cistern into the house. And uh, we always knew that the sound of the pump meant that we'd have some water, unless that sound changed tunes. And a lot of times, right after the pump would start, it would kind of go into what we called a high gear, and we knew that the pump was running, but it was drawing no water. We knew that the cistern had gone empty. Well, for $7.50, we could have a, a 1,500 gallons of water hauled from town and dumped into the cistern. But there were times that our little family didn't have $7.50 at that moment. There were three uh, children of our own, and we'd taken in two of my brother's children uh, for a time there. And so there were five, seven of us in that little parsonage home, and it required a lot of water. Well, fortunately for us, even if the cistern had gone dry and there wasn't any rain coming our way, and we didn't have the $7.50 to have a load of water hauled in, brother and sister Corey that lived across the road on a little farm there, they did have a well. They had one of these old-fashioned crank pumps, and we could go over there with some buckets, and we could begin to grind, pump that old well, and after a while, there'd be some good well water coming into our buckets, and oftentimes, we would just take all the buckets we could find over there and kind of, you know, get enough to last us for a day or two until we could get some water hauled into town. But uh, that was the only lifesaver that we had, was drawing water from another person's well. Well, it doesn't work that way with salvation. You run out of water, and uh, it's just not going to be any water. But I can assure you today that it's not like the old cistern that would go dry up in Bynumville. It's an ample supply of water that will take care of all of our spiritual needs and I look back and I just thank God for uh, that, that uh, lesson that I learned that even if the cistern went dry, we could always go borrow from the neighbors, but not so with uh, salvation. If that ever goes dry, we're just out of luck. There's no way that we're going to be able to find uh, cleansing for the soul and satisfaction of the thirst 
And so I'm glad that we have a well of salvation that will never run dry. Heavenly Father, thank you that you dug a well deep enough that it would be there for all of mankind, no matter how much we need it. Lord, with joy, we draw water from the well of salvation. Thank you, Lord, for the cleansing. Thank you for the quenching of the thirst of man that we find through your wonderful salvation. Bless us throughout the remaining part of this day. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I'll plan to see you tomorrow on Lord Light's devotional. Goodbye now.